Okay, so this video is going to be a 5.4 liter 3 valve spark plug extraction. They commonly break off when you're trying to pull them off for a tune up or uh, to replace them for a bad spark plug. And this one did break on me. Started making all the cracking noises from the porcelain and the splitting noises from it coming apart. So, we do have one for the video. Let's see if we can get down in there and show you. That's how it looks. Okay, see there's the tip of the plug right there. And that is completely flush in there. And it's filled with porcelain. So there's a lot of little chunks in there too, and I believe the center electrode, yes it is, is stuck down in there too. So we're going to go ahead and blow out the cylinder, and we're going to start the extraction process with the Lyle tool. This is one of the ways they can break. You may see porcelain up to here, and then uh, the center electrode sticking out, it'll come with it. Or you may see the whole plug intact except for the shell itself missing. So you see all the porcelain sticking out of here with the center electrode. There's multiple ways it can break. This is the most common. You'll see the center electrode and the uh, porcelain flush in the cylinder like I just showed you. And uh, that's what this tool is made to do. Okay, step one, blow out that cylinder very, very well from all those broken porcelain pieces. <laughs> Okay, and here it is, the Lyle Broken Spark Plug Remover. This tool has worked for me very well over the years since I started having to deal with this kind of stuff. And you can see it's been used quite a few times. Uh, I did have a problem one time where this the extractor portion, where it actually threads into it, this part right here, which is hardened steel, that actually broke off in the shell while I was extracting. Had to get a burbit and a special guide and make everything up and e extract the extractor tool. But it hasn't failed me since. So let's go ahead and push that porcelain down into the cylinder. Alright, so here's the first step. This is the porcelain pusher. It'll push it down into there to that ground strap and it'll get it out of the way so we can use the tap and tap into it and grab it and pull the shell out with the porcelain. So make sure before you put it down in there, you can see this is moving here, the actual tip on there. Make sure you got it so that it's flush or recessed when it's fully like that right there. That way we can get a full seat on those spark plug threads um, right here. That's what it screws into. That right there screws into the spark plug threads. So we want to be able to do a full seat in there before we start pushing on the porcelain. So make sure it's recessed like that. That's the first tip right there. Okay, so screw that porcelain pusher down into the spark plug threads until it seats, almost like putting a spark plug in. And then we can turn the other piece, which is the actual pusher there. Okay, so once that porcelain pusher is fully seated in there, that bottom jam nut, we can go ahead and turn this forcing tool right here, which is part of it, and go ahead and screw that all the way down in there. They've got it gauged out already so it doesn't drop the porcelain down in the cylinder. And then we can uh, pull the whole assembly out and go for the extraction. All right, at first you're gonna hear a lot of cracking at the porcelain. Sound really bad, but it's just the top part of the porcelain breaking. And eventually you're going to start hearing this. That is the porcelain breaking free and coming through and moving. Hear it? 
That's the porcelain actually being pushed down. That's good. As far down as possible. start leaving pressure on here on the forcing screw and then we can extract it okay now we can pull the whole thing out of there and I'll show you how far down it got pushed all right hopefully you can see it's much further down in there, it's not flush now, but it's still in there. We still got it caught in there. So, we now have room to get bite into that shell and extract it. So let's do it. Alright, after you push that porcelain down, make sure you blow it out again, because there'd be a lot of chunks of porcelain in there, and now we can go ahead and extract it. This is what the extractor consists of. You got the guide tube, the actual extractor, uh, a nylon washer and then your jam nut. Guide tube just falls into there and it'll sit. Now this jam nut is reverse thread so take it all the off and then thread it on just so it starts grabbing and that's it. See a little bit of a head here for your socket and you want it to have the full length like that so we can bite as much of this tip into that shell as possible else it'll slip right out so make sure that nut is all the way up okay make sure you put that extractor in you tighten it counterclockwise but make sure you put it in and uh, straight and center as much as you can it is a little bit loose in that guide and also um, turn it in until it gets tight and then give it another half, a quarter to a half turn and because it will start getting tight in there as it grips into there further and further you're going to want a full grip on that shell or else it's not going to be um, gripping the shell and it actually slip out as you're trying to extract it and you got to go over and over again and hopefully it doesn't uh, strip the shell out enough that you can't grip onto it next. So do it uh, a full grip in there the first time and pull that shell out the first time. Once the actual extractor is, is tightened fully on there then you can start bringing this nut down. Um, on the outside of, the, of it here so we can start extracting it otherwise it might butt against it and you won't be able to uh, get a full bite on that shell so we're gonna go ahead and try this and hopefully it pops out okay we got our tap in there and now we're ready to extract it this is also left hand thread 15 sixteenths Slow and steady. That noise right there is good. That's the uh, that it, that's the shell popping out of the cylinder head. It's a very good sound. It's popped and uh, fully loosened. We should have a shell. And there it is. This is how most of them will come out. You'll push the porcelain through the ground strap. See, so have enough bite. You can see I'm still not fully in there on the bite. 
sometimes that porcelain will break, sometimes it won't. You just need to blow it out of the cylinder, what you can, and uh, otherwise it should uh, be able to pass it pretty easy. Never had a problem. Uh, that's how it looks, though. Nice and nasty. But it's out. That's the good news. Alright, this right here obviously is ideal. Um, I was able to grip the shell enough and extract it without going past the uh, ground strap there and pushing the porcelain past. So that's ideal, but it's not always possible and it's hard to tell where you're at. This one, it broke just right, so I was able to get in there and grab enough of that shell and pull it out without having to put any porcelain in the cylinder or uh, popping that ground strap. But the, the actual porcelain breaks in varying lengths all the time, so it's really hard to gauge. But this would be ideal, though. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and blow out the cylinder. You can get a straight, get a, a, a long reach blow gun like this you can get way down in and put the pressure in the cylinder and hopefully get the uh, porcelain off the same hole. As I said before, I've had pieces like that or smaller go in there and they, they pass through the valves just fine. No damage, no issues, not even a misfire uh, upon start. They just pass really easy and they crunch up and they pass them through without damage, so it's not a huge, huge issue. Um, the less the better, obviously, but it does happen depending on how the plug breaks. You have no control over that. best you can do is follow my procedure to avoid the breakage in the first place.